Network here in Long Beach at the Long Beach Ice Arena for a special broadcast here. It's Garen Hagen Memorial Hockey Day here in Long Beach. Second broadcast coming up here. And it's the home side. Long Beach Guardians taking on the FTNY Bravest. My name's Travis Quigley, and I got a special color commentator joining me for this one. Joe Byrne, retired FDNY, former player of this team, former coach of this team. Really happy to have you here, and I know you're excited to be here today. Uh, thank you, Travis. I'm, uh, I'm excited. I've been looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's going to be it's a great day, G2H day, hockey day in Long Beach. Uh, the kid was all rink rat. He was all about hockey. And uh, it's so nice, this turnout here in Long Beach, to uh, you know, honor the legacy of uh, Garen Hagen, we miss dearly in this town, but it's a testament to this town how uh, the turnout is, and we're here to raise some money and have a really good hockey game. Yeah, we had a great turnout earlier for the first game, the Toronto Fire Hockey Club, coming all the way down from Canada to take part in this event, support the G2H Foundation. They beat the Nassau County PD 3-2, to two, really good game there, and I'm expecting a really good game here between these two sides, the Long Beach Guardians here defending their home rink. And the FTNY Bravest, they're getting ready for a contest against the NYPD. The 50th annual game between those two sides coming up on April 20th. Yes, definitely. They're looking forward to that. But tonight, you know, the Long Beach team has a very experienced players, a lot of for couple former professional players, Division I players, and uh, a lot of pride in Long Beach. It's a hockey town, and uh, they're ready to go, and they're playing against a, a very strong, battle-tested fire department team. You see the team camaraderie here with the Guardians. They're all wearing the Irish caps. Yes, Garen was, uh, he walked around town with that with that Irish cap all the time. So that, that's the significance of that. So uh, it's really cool. Absolutely. They look great. They do. They do. And warm-up still underway here. About a minute 15 left here in warm-ups. Both teams feeling the puck a little bit. Both goalies feeling the puck as well. And... Joe, before we head into our opening ceremonies, puck drop, I want to just have you talk a little bit about your relationship with the Hagen family and what the G2H Foundation means to you. Okay, well, um, I go. my family goes a couple generations back with the, the Hagen and Fowler family from our days in New York City. And um, I had an opportunity to coach Garen for a couple of years, and he was a special kid. He was uh, all about getting better. He was a coach's dream. And and, uh, and now with the tragedy that happened, you know, with good things, bad things happen, and now a good thing happens uh, today. We're raising a lot of money, and the G2H Foundation is, has done so many things for the town, between scholarships and uh, of all sorts of things, and it's just getting bigger and bigger every year. Absolutely, and like you said, we're all here today for a great cause, great meaning. You see the turnout here already. We haven't even gotten to the opening puck drop, and this building is absolutely packed. All here today to remember Garen Hagen, remember the impact that he left on our community here, and remember that he was a remarkable human being. Tragedy struck, and now we're here today celebrating and remembering him in a positive way. Exactly, and there's so many good things they do already. And only in one year's time, the things they've done for the community and uh, for the hockey world in Long Beach itself. And like you said, second annual G2H Memorial Hockey Day here in Long Beach. First was last year. And yeah, we're I was talking to Coach Joe Brand before, and I was just asking him a question about the Guardian's name, where it came from, and, and I found some interesting stuff that uh, they, they spoke about with the Hagen family, and then they went with the Guardians. They were looking for angels, and the Guardians came up, and the team colors, he was a 49er fan that I found out, and that's the reason for the colors of uh, their uniforms tonight. And they did a great job designing them. They look great. Yeah, great, and I know that everybody here is excited for this one. The Guardians taking on the FDNY, like we mentioned. FDNY getting ready for their big game in a couple weeks over at UBS Arena with the NYPD, 50th annual game of that one. 
Yes, that's always the highlight of uh, if you're a fire department or a police department hockey player to play in that game, and they've been gearing up for it. They have a, they play a full schedule. They're battle tested. They have a very good team, and uh, should be a good uh, good good uh, test for uh, Long Beach tonight against them. And Warm-ups are done. We're getting ready for our opening ceremonies. If you tuned in to the beginning of our broadcast, you saw the Flag Boys, Matty Hagan and James McArdle, skating out, donning the G2H flag and the United States of America flag. I tried, man. Now, with both teams heading on to the blue line, we have the AOH Honor Guard, the FDNY Emo Society. Pipes and Drums present the colors coming out of that Zamboni door down there. So we're going to take a quick break, Joe and I, and we'll be back following the conclusion of these opening ceremonies.
The Hogan family would like to present them with a special announcement on the plaque. The plaque reads, in recognition of your commitment, dedication, and perseverance, you transform your tremendous athletic achievements and selfless generosity into a remarkable philanthropy. Thank you for honoring me with a very good
Jin is out filling each other out. Big crowd here. I'm sure everybody's a little nervous. So uh, a couple chances for Long Beach already. Like we mentioned a couple times during warm-up, Joe, FDNY getting ready for that big game against the New York City Police Department coming up on April 20th at UBS. Here to take care of things first against the Long Beach Guardians who absolutely are here to put on a show. Buck is now down behind the net of Battaglia. FDNY looking to break things out. Possessing the puck a little bit, now kicking it forward. Derek Kerr across the ice. Pass back door, looking for the stick of Pascal. He hit the side of the cage. It's held in the zone there by the point man. Now a battle in the corner for it, off the boards. Kicked over, still in. Shot from the point. Bounced up a little bit there on Zielman. Hank Levin battling there. You're local to the area, you know Hank Levin Hockey, one of the best trainers here in the area. Passed out wide. Walking in, shot. That one's glove, that came off the stick of Declan Conway. Conway a teammate. And another Long Beach native here playing his college hockey currently at the University of Georgia. Yes, Declan Conway and Jack Gannon, they're here. They play for University of Georgia. I think they were seniors when uh, Garen was a freshman, so they were teammates of him, so there's a little connection there. I'm sure they're pumped up for this, uh, for this game. And the FDN line trying to get their attack going now. Brian Elfont carrying it in. Elfont, former Division III college hockey player himself. Chipped off the wall, Glenn Papa. Here for the FDNY, tried to play it ahead. Guardians back on the attack. Shot goes wide past Bataglia's glove. It's held in the zone. Now a battle behind the net. Guardians cycle it back in. Nyland on the four check. Comes around the wall, still in the FDNY zone. Guardians doing a good job applying the pressure right now. Papa trying to use his skating. He used, does it nice there, finds a cross-ice pass. Coming into the zone now, Jim Becker. He dropped one off, it was picked off there. Becker gets it back. Three players for FDNY here in the corner. Raiden trying to get it out, comes across. Walking in, shot that one just wide, right off the tape of Michael Van Pelt. Dylan Raiden carries now for Long Beach. Gets over the blue line, takes a shot off a body, goes behind the cage. Right into the point for Jack Gannon. Gannon walks in, shoots. That one got blocked there. Nice play in front, Joe Sanger. One more time at the point. That one got blocked. FDNY is able to get it out of the zone. Over the red line, chipped in deep by Romano. Liam Hughes back to collect. Takes a one-timer around the wall. Comes off of Larry Nyland's skates. Still in the zone of the Guardians. Turned over. Opportunity. Walking in. Save made by Byrne. Rebound. Puck's still loose and it goes off the post across the goal line. Good chance there for the Bravest. Body thrown. Dylan Raiden knocks down Stephen Kelly. Kelly behind the net to collect it off the wall. Raiden there. They collide one more time. Raiden wins the battle, comes out with the puck, and they break it out clean. Larry Nyland comes in wide. He stops up. Backhander cross, looking for Pews. Jumped over his stick, comes out of the zone now. Nyland dumps it back in. He's going to go for a change along with Liam Pews and Luke Judge. Game is getting a little physical there. A little Stevie Kelly and Dylan Raiden mixing it up here. And now a chance for the FDNY. Poked off the stick there. Vinny Lopes. Like you said, Joe, physicality picking up now. As Zay took a hit there from Coyle. Lopes behind the net. Zay picks up the puck. He starts rolling around the circle. Fires one at the net. That goes wide. Nolan Hughes can't get it out. Stick lift there. Still in the zone. Chipped in deep by Zielman. Flipped out now. Hughes across the ice. Coyle gets the red, dumps it in. Battaglia comes out to play it behind his net on the backhand, rims it around, finds the tape. Yeah. 
DNY clear. Zay one hands it forward. Locking in now. Derek Kern dropped it off. Kern leaves it for Gargan. Gargan to the point. Shot goes through. Glove save made by Byrne. Declan Conway plays it off the wall. Hank Levin gets it out. Still in front of the Guardians bench. Liam Pugh's backhanded away. Papa has it now for the FDNY. Gets the red, dumps it in deep. Comes around the boards. There to stop it up, Aiden Salerno. Picked up now by Pascali. He's working to get it free. Pascali trying to make a move around Conway. Still has the puck. Moves it to Papa. Papa winds. Big slap shot gets blocked by Liam Pugh's. Papa goes off the backboard looking for Kern. Jumped over his stick. Kern gets it right back to the slot. Backhand trying to go to the forehand. Pascali, but he lost the handle of it. Pascali to the high slot. That one gets deflected wide. FDNY applying the pressure hard here on the Guardians. Kern tries to make a move. Takes a hit there from Pugh. Pugh and Salerno battling behind the goal line. Pinching in. Liam Pugh blocks the shot from the half boards. Salerno couldn't get it out. Now at the point. D to D. Chipped over to Papa. Papa walks over. Tries to find Pascali. Gets deflected out of the zone. Guardians going to make a wholesale change. FDNY looking to capitalize on this one. Gilhuli enters. Backhanded across. Walking in. Shot. Save made. Rebound. Puck is loose off the boards. Jim Becker battling for it. Helping him out is Elfine. Nyland trying to get it out of his zone. Puts it off the wall. Raiden deflects it. And that goes out. So fresh legs for the Guardians. The not making not the stop here without a whistle in quite some time here, Travis. Yeah, I think we've only had one or two whistles here in this period so far. There's a turnover there. Long Beach unable to capitalize. FDNY really putting the pressure on the last couple of minutes here, Joe. Yes, yeah, the fire department started out a little slow. They played last night against Toronto, so maybe it took their legs to get going. They just started putting some pressure on them. And here Turnover, we go of course, there. Three on two opportunity. Elfont back. Shot goes wide. Sprawling was Burn. Still in the zone. Good feed from Brian Elfont there. Staying on the attack. Stephen Kelly. Dylan Raiden chips it over for Luke Judge. Luke Judge gets the red line, tries to put it deep. Swooping in, picking it up, now cutting to the middle. Larry Nyland, his shot gets through. Just misses the target. Cycle back in by Judge. Now the FDNY, a little bit of space behind the net. Michael Van Pelt goes D to D, trying to go north. It's knocked down. Nyland turns, fires, kicked away by Battaglia. Centering pass, it's loose in the crease, and we get a whistle. Puck underneath Nick Battaglia. 7.53 to go, period number one. Travis Quigley, Joe Byrne, you're watching on the LI Sports Network. Make sure you follow us on social media. Hit that subscribe button. And we want to thank you for tuning in on such an important day here in Long Beach. Wow, I'm so excited to be here. What a great start to this game. Pace was, we didn't have a whistle for about five or six minutes here. Up and down, they went up and down the ice. Yep, the NY get it out after the faceoff win, but we get a whistle as I believe the puck hit a glove on the bench there. Like we were talking about, Joe, special day here honoring Garen Hagen supporting the G2H Foundation. Yes, uh, the turnout here is a spectacular. If you, if you see it, you can't get another body in here. It's an awesome turnout. We're packed in the stands. We're packed all the way around on the glass. Excellent crowd here. Not just for this game, also for the game earlier. Nassau County Police Department and the Toronto Fire Hockey Club. And an even bigger turnout here for the Guardians and the FDNY. Nothing, nothing, still the score. Battle in front of us. Kevin Brand able to chip this one out. FDNY regrouping in the neutral zone. It gets chipped in to that right-hand corner. Liam Pughes has it. Moves it to Nolan. Turnover. FDNY walks in. Save made by Byrne. Puck is still loose. 
FDNY with a chance, walking in, unable to get the shot off. Now it gets through, it gets blocked. Nice job there, Nolan Pughes sacrificing the body. Declan Conway trying to make a one-on-one -on -one move. Pucks turned over, Matt Zay in the neutral zone, 50-50 with Gannon. Now it's the FDNY. Puck is sent in deep. First on the four check there is Brendan Tracy. Salerno's trying to get it out now for the Guardians. Matt Zay, four checking hard to the slot. Shot comes through off the crossbar. Good shot there from Tracy. Puppa walking in now. Doesn't have an angle. He curls back and it's poked off his stick out of the zone. Applying pressure on Puppa. Puck is turned over. Guardians with a chance now. Shot comes through, blocked by Battaglia, and covered up. Wow, Byrne uh, coming up big here so far, early in the game for the Guardians. A couple of quality chances early here, and he, he's standing up to the task here so far. Both goaltenders doing a great job. Other side, FDM line, Nick Battaglia doing a great job there. Ladder Company 169. Kieran Byrne, he was, a, I think, a four-year starter on the Long Beach High School team. And a solid career, also played a lot of travel hockey, and seems to be on top of his game tonight. Six minutes, ten seconds remaining. Period number one here in Long Beach. FDNY with another face-off win. They've been very strong in that department. Here through the first 11 minutes of this contest, doing 17-minute periods here today. Trying to get it out of their own end now. Kern moves it forward, comes off the skates of Pascali. No icing. Pascali's going to get there first, but he overskates it. Gargan to the point. Puck is held in. Now walking over. Shot gets blocked. Nyland trying to clear. Up top to the slot. Fake slap shot there. Pass across. Looking for Van Pelt. His shot goes through, but wide. Battle in the corner now. Held in the zone. Jack Gannon looking to clear. Uses the glass to his advantage, gets it out. And now four out of the five Guardians, all five Guardians, going to make a change here. FDNY, dump it in. Glove down by Byrne. He plays it out for Salerno. Salerno off the boards, looking for Luke Judge. Luke Judge backhands it out. Plays it across. Sent back into the zone. And Byrne comes out, covers it up. So we get a whistle, 5 0 one to go here in the first period. Excellent pace to this game here for a bunch of former college players, former pro players, and there's also a mix. A lot of guys grew up together, playing with each other, playing against each other. So uh, it's a lot of fun for them out there, I'm sure. Yeah, and you can see the chemistry, obviously, between the Guardian side, a lot of... Like you said, Joe, players that grew up playing together, came through the Long Beach program together, travel programs together, as they have an opportunity to win rating carrying in. And like you said, a lot of college and ex-professional players on the ice right now for both teams for a very highly competitive game. Fire department looking to get it out of their end. It's gloved down in front, stretch pass, misses the tape of Gil Hooley. Elfonts on the chase. Liam Pughes touches it first, sent back in there by Becker. Becker tries to center it, Larry Nyland there to pick it off. Now he's gonna skate it out of his own end into the fire department zone. Drop pass for Raiden, Raiden shot off the glove, rebound is free, but Taglia steers it behind the net. Two big stops there. Backhanded forward, Liam Pughes steps up, gloved down by Nolan. His stretch pass missed the tape of, uh, I believe that was Kelly Coyle. So we yeah. get an icing and another whistle here. Nice little rush by uh, Larry Nyland there. Larry Nyland played his college hockey at Elmira. And uh, he has his younger brother, Sean, is on the team. And his cousin is Joey Diamond. So it's a family affair here for Long Beach. Also, you got, I think, three Raidens on the team also. Got three Raidens. And a brand, Joe Kevin Brand, Brand, the head coach, Joe and Brand Kevin Brand coach. playing. It's a, you know, a Long Beach family affair here. I believe the Raidens and the Pews family is related as well, so you got connections all over. Without a doubt, you know, it's Long Beach, that's how uh, exactly. it goes here. Exactly, exactly. 
I had the good fortune of playing junior hockey with a lot of guys on this Guardians team, so I know how they play, and I, I do know how tight the connections is and how close of a community is sure. down here in Long Beach. Puck is kicked towards the front of the net. Kieran Burns just going to put the glove on top of it, take a whistle. 3.43 to go here in the first period. Still zeros on the scoreboard as Kevin Brand steps into the faceoff dot with Matt Gervasi. It's Kevin Brand who wins it. Backhanded out of the zone. Pup is going to chase after it, trying to go D to D. Kicked off the boards there. It's still loose in the neutral zone, and FDNY regain it. Puppa off the boards, plays it ahead. Kelly chips it in deep. Back to chase it, winning that one. Ronan Judge. But Ronan Judge unable to get it out that time. Comes around the wall. It's going to be a foot race for it. Kelly and Coyle battling, and they're still going at it. We're getting more physical here. And we get a whistle as we get a little bit of extra stuff going on behind the play there between Kelly and Coyle. They're still jawing with each other. Let's see what the officials drum up here. See if we get a replay on that one. We're going to run it back here for you right now. We zoomed in a little bit. And there we go. We got our wide view. You see a little pushing and shoving and follows up there. Another shot in the back and some conversations happening. And that's when we get the whistle. Joe, you so played I, in the I like it. You know, it's and it's Kelly Coyle. Kelly Coyle, I coached for the fire department team back in the day. He's one of the older players on the team, and he's still in phenomenal shape. He does Ironman triathlons, and uh, he's still chugging out there, and he's getting mixed up with his former team there. I was going to say, you played for the FDNY. You coached with the FDNY. I'm sure I'm sure a little bit of that stuff is not foreign. Oh, yeah. I, you know, nobody, I think there's a couple of players left that Kelly played with, but no, nobody that was in that uh, little uh, interaction there. Yeah. A little skirmish between the two sides. 3.05 left in the first period. Joey Diamond for the Guardians and Jim Becker for the FDNY. Bravest just quick conversation with the officials, understanding what the calls on the ice were, and it looks like it's a two-minute penalty going against Kelly Coyle, and it's going to be the FDNY getting the first power play of the evening. Yeah, Coyle retaliated on that. I don't know if it was necessary. It didn't look like uh, anything was going on. Uh, I'm sure he just fired up the plan against his old team. Absolutely. We got a battle there. Puck comes to the point for Puppa. Puppa fakes the shot. One timer to Zay, a falling and sprawling. Burn stops it. FDNY trying to settle things back down. Nolan Pugh knocks it down. Can't get it out. Back down to the corner. Across. Knocked away by Liam Pugh. Puppa can't keep it in. So FDNY going to have to regroup in the neutral zone. Papa has some time and space to work with. Moves it over for Lopes. Lopes enters and stops up. Papa has it at the point. Back to Lopes. Lopes to the middle. Finds Papa. Papa walks. They're playing catch with each other. It's turned over. Hank Levin backhands it. Goes out of the zone. But he couldn't find the stick of a stretching guardian for a breakaway. Still looking to get the name on that one. Let's see who that was. FDNY still trying to set up on the power play. Comes out of the zone. And 50 seconds left here. They're back in their own end. They're going to reset things, break it out, and get one last chance here to set up and try to score on this power play opportunity. Billy Pascali coming forward with a lot of speed. Stops up at the hash marks. Just loses the handle. Raiden knocks it off his stick. And now Liam Pugh is protecting it behind the net. To the slot, and it's broken up. Gargan back low, out front, pass back door from Kern is intercepted, turning and firing, a shot gets blocked, Gilhooly's shot goes wide. 
FDNY starting to get some opportunities. One more one-timer turned away by Byrne. Rebounds pushed into the corner. Kern rolls up the board, cycles it in low. Gilhooley walks the goal line, stops up to the point. Moran walks in, his shot gets blocked by Raiden. Moran picks it back up, leaves it for Gilhooley. Gilhooley rolling, tries to go through the seam. Shot gets blocked one more time in front by Jack Annan. To the point, Kern fakes the slap shot, doesn't get it through in his feet. Gets it back, walks in down low, one timer from Gilhooley, and he scores! FDNY on the board first, and it's Joe Gilhooley. It was kind of a broken play there. I thought the Guardians were going to have possession of the puck, and it got turned over, and Kern found Gilhooley on a bad angle shot. Uh, I think Byrne would want, one that, want that one back. Absolutely. you got to give a lot of credit to Derek Kern staying with the puck here in that high slot. He was lost in his feet for a moment there and easily could have been poked out by the Guardians. He stayed with it, found Gil Hooley there, and Gil yes, Hooley. Derek, Derek Kern, is a, he played Oswego State, played in Europe, played in the East Coast Hockey League. He's a veteran, been around a long time, gritty player, smart player, one of my favorites when I coached him. And the Guardians trying to respond. And Kern, easy coach's dream, as some would say. He plays the game the right way. Just like Garen Hagen was a coach's dream. That's right. And at the end line, another chance. One-timer from the point gets gloved there by Kieran Byrne. So with 13 seconds to go here in period number one, we get another whistle. Face-off now coming to the right of Kieran Byrne. FDNY on top, 1-0. Joe Gilhooley scoring from an unconventional angle. Found a way to beat Byrne and put his team on top. Matt Zay and Dylan Raiden now taking the faceoffs. Zay's going to win it back. Raiden. Joe Gilhooley was the MVP of last year's uh, NYPD FDNY game. Shot from Raiden. Goes high off the glass. Out of the out. Two seconds. One. That's going to do it. End of the first period here in Long Beach. 1-0 The score. FDNY on top. Joe Gilhooley scored that goal. I believe Joe Gilhooley also helps out with the LIU team as well. Yes, he was, uh, he was a coach there. And uh, he, uh, Joe Gilhooley played at Potsdam. He's a Former real strong Europe player. Very good on the wall. Big physical uh, winger. Both teams headed to the locker room now as we get set for the first intermission of this game. FDNY on top, 1-0. Currently at late goal from Joe Gilhooley, only one that we saw. And now we're getting ready for our Chuck a Puck contest. Seems to be a conversation at uh, center ice with the captains of the teams. I'm not sure what's, what it's all about. But, uh, so both teams have headed to the locker room. I don't yeah. think we're getting an ice cut here, Joe. I think we're doing the chuck -a puck contest. Okay. And then the teams will be coming back out here for the second period. We'll be getting that ice cut in between periods two and three. Okay. So chuck -a puck contest now. And we're going to have members of the Long Beach High School hockey team and the Long Beach Lightning 16U team coming out to pick up the pucks after the throne. And we're going to take a quick break here during Chuck a Puck. We'll be right back in a moment with period number two. I see, I see, I see. 
Network. Special day of hockey here in Long Beach. Game two of two. First game we saw Nassau County Police Department taking on the Toronto Fire Hockey Club. Toronto won that one by a final score of three to two. And we're here now watching the Long Beach Guardians take on the FDNY Bravest. FDNY on top, 1-0 off of a goal from Joe Gilhooley. Travis Quigley, Joe Byrne here taking you through the call. Joe Byrne, retired FDNY, former player on this team, former coach, Long Beach resident. A lot of ties in the community here, a lot of ties to both these teams. And we've talked about it a little bit here for a very special day, a very special occasion yeah, honoring it, the memory of Gary. It's, it's a great day. What, what uh, you know, Chris Hagan and the Hagan family has done for today. And it's just leaps and bounds from last year. It's always going to get better. It was hockey all day here today. It started with a 9.30 a.m. game to a kid's clinic to uh, a, a first game between Toronto and Nassau County. And now you got the, the, you know, the headlining game here. So it's such a great day in Long Beach. And I'm so proud to be a Long Beach resident uh, of what they've done here today. Yeah, proud to be a part of this. As we're back underway in period number two, the Guardians were able to win the faceoff. Great turnout for game one. Excellent turnout here for game two. This building is packed. Well, at some point, make sure we pan over to the crowd. Make sure you can see everybody that's here supporting the G2H Foundation. As Matt Zay tries to toe drag in the neutral zone, Dylan Raiden knocks it off his stick, takes a slap shot, goes off the blocker of Battaglia and off the glass. Luke Judge on the forecheck, trying to force a turnover on Zay. Dylan Raiden there to help out. Puck is loose, Judge trying to pick it up. Raiden collects. Walking over, shot gets blocked. Sacrificing the body there, Brendan Tracy. Still in the zone, one more time. Raiden, it's outside, tries to put it deep. He gets his stick lifted, FDNY with possession now. Hard forecheck being applied by Coyle. Coyle with the stick lift, wins possession back. Over on the backhand, Raiden finds Judge. Judge scores! Judge gets the Guardians on the board. It's a 1-1 game. Yeah, uh, Tom Frizzalone turning the puck over right in front of his own net. And then that's what happens when you do that in there. And it ends up in your own net. A minute and eight seconds into the second period. And the Guardians tie this one right back up. It's Luke Judge. The beneficiary slides it through the five hole of Nick Battaglia. And we have a 1-1 game here in Long Beach. Guardians win the faceoff, coming right back down on the attack. Shot from Jack Gannon, steered aside by Battaglia. He picks up the rebound. Over for Pews, his shot gets blocked. Yeah, Luke, Luke Judge, a uh, University of Rhode Island product, and there's a couple of judges on this team too. Another family uh, connection. Shot from the point went wide. Luke Judge, current member of the Farmingdale team, the Division I team over at Farmingdale State College. Did play at the University of Rhode Island as well, so two different schools for Luke. And he's on the board for the Guardians. FDNY now looking to get that one back. As we have a 1-1 game, just two minutes gone in the second period. Funny kick off the stanchion there. It now comes out of the zone. Poked forward by Coyle, and then sent the rest of the way in deep by Nolan Pews. Collision there. Two on one now for FDNY. Walking in, shot save made there by Byrne. Flashing the glove on Billy Pascali. Things are starting to heat up here. Yeah, opening up a little bit. First two minutes and 17 seconds of this one. Both sides have gotten opportunities. Guardians on the board early. FDNY shot from the point, got through, and ended up hitting a shin guard late off the stick of Sanger. It's out of the zone now, giving chase. Robbie Beggy chipped off the boards. Conway playing the body. Declan Conway walking in. Spinorama pass is intercepted in the slot. Now FDNY on the charge. Three on two rush. Slide through. On the backhand, Pascali couldn't get it off. 
Gargan has it, rolls up the wall, plays it through the middle, it's loose, comes off the skate of Hank Levin and goes into the FDNY bench, so we get another whistle here, but... Yeah, there were conversations after the first period about uh, the rules of the game. I think they went into it saying it was going to be not open contact. And, you know, you got a big crowd here. Tensions are high. A lot of pride on the Long Beach side and, and the fire department side. And things started getting physical. So I would expect that to keep up as we move on. Guardians win the faceoff. Like you said, game is picked up in physicality as the minutes have ticked on. And... Both sides felt each other out a little bit in that first period. We saw a little bit of extra stuff towards the end there. And even in the second period now, contact certainly is being elevated. Salerno with the poke check there. He has the puck now. Takes it behind his net. Moves it over for Gannon. Jack Gannon tries to stretch the ice. It's picked off in the neutral zone by James Shea and flipped back in to the Guardian's end. Gannon on the backhand. Trying to get it out. It's in the neutral zone now. Pushed forward. Two on two rush for the FDNY. Rolling puck and the shot goes wide off the stick of Matt Gervasi. Salerno now. Zay intercepts the pass. Possessing the puck. Zay moves it over for Zielman. Zielman with time and space to work with. Long stretch pass looking for Tracy. Jumped over his twig. Gannon off the back wall for Luke Judge. Judge trying to play it forward. It was intercepted. He gets it back. Zay applying some pressure. Held in on the half boards. Couple Guardians, couple of the FDNY Bravest in there. Zay comes out with it. Centering feet is intercepted by Ronan Judge. And Ronan Judge is going to play this one off the glass. Gloved down. And dumped into the opposite corner by Raiden. Zay in the neutral zone, poked away by Dylan Raiden. Nyland tries to play it forward. Pup is there to pick it off. Puck goes forward now. Vinny Lopes enters, walks in, shot. Maybe a little pass back door looking for Zay. Couldn't get his stick on it. It's held in the zone at the point by Paul Moran. Battle in that left-hand corner. Lopes rolls up the half boards, looking for Zay on the one-timer. It was broken up and dumped out of the zone, goes all the way down, and it's going to be an icing going against the Guardians. 12-22 to play here, period number two, score is 1-1. One one. Joe Gilhooley in the first for FDNY, Luke Judge here in the second. Here in Long Beach today, supporting the G2H Foundation, Garen Hagen, Long Beach hockey player, played travel hockey here on, here on Long Island, played hockey and lacrosse for the Marines and at the high school level. And collision there, arm up immediately, and an interference penalty is called going against the Guardians. Looks like it's Aiden Salerno who's headed to the box. And it's going to be a second power play chance here for the FDNY. So, fire department couldn't capitalize the first time on the power play. We'll get a chance here Guys, on the second go around. So, quick line change there for the Guardians. They get their four killers out. We get set for the puck drop going to the left of Kieran Byrne here. Puck goes to the half boards and keeping that one in the zone was Derek Kern. Moran chips it in deep. Back to get it, Joe Gilhooley. Gilhooley starts to roll up the wall. Still with possession, cycles it down low. Derek Kern rolling back up top, finds Moran. Moran over to the right flank. Kern tries to go through the seam, couldn't find Pascal. He was broken up there. Nolan Pughes gloves it down, and he's taken down, and we get a penalty going against Paul Moran. 
going to negate the remainder of the FDNY power play. And we're going to get four on four hockey for the next minute 24. Yeah, oh, Paul Moran there kind of got caught in between and he fanned on the puck and then got caught in no man's land. That took him down. He's, he's contesting that call, but I, I agree with the call 100%. That was a good forecheck there by Nolan Hughes, putting the pressure on, shorthanded. Able to draw that penalty, and now we got, like I mentioned, four on four for the next minute 24, and then we'll see a Long Beach Guardians power play for 36 seconds. Matt Zay wins the faceoff over Declan Conway. Papa plays it back to Zielman. Zielman goes through the middle, finds Zay. Zay pokes it out of the zone, but a lot of pressure on him, so he couldn't possess the puck. Shipped into Papa's corner. Papa drops the shoulder, trying to evade Conway. On the backhand, Papa up the wall. Gannon pinches in, Conway collects it. Centering pass, Gannon shot over the net. Good chance there for Jack Gannon. Conway was trying to move it to him, ended up in the skates of Zielman. His spinning pass goes to Zay. Zay, little self-chip, enters the zone. Strong defensive play from Jack Gannon there. Beggy, touch pass to Conway. Conway walks in, drops it through his legs on the backhand. Shoulder saved by Nick Battaglia up into the netting, and we get a whistle. What a move by Declan Conway. Declan Conway going through his legs and trying to go backhand top shelf there. Next move from the prep school standout and University of Georgia player. Dylan Raiden in the dot, Joe Gilhooly. Gilhooly's gonna win it. Larry Nyland though, moving in, hustling hard to try to get there first. Gilhooly has it now on the breakout. He loses it, but Gargan's there following him up, picks it up on the backhand, out front for Gilhooly, and it's poked away. Chipped in by Larry Nyland. Raiden was on the four check, but clearing that one out of his zone was Nick Battaglia. Guardians resetting. Hard four check applied by Gilhooly. Turnover is forced. Gargan out front. One timer kick save with the left pad by Kieran Byrne. Long Beach on the power play now. Four on four hockey has expired. So 10 minutes to go here in the second period. 22 seconds remaining on this Guardians power play. They'll have one chance to get up the ice and get a shot on before we go back to five on five. Raiden's pass is knocked down by Zay. Matt Zay on a breakaway on the forehand. Save made by Byrne. Zay collects his own rebound, takes another shot. That gets blocked. Byrne dives out and covers it. And we have a penalty coming up going against Dylan Raiden of the Guardians. Slashing is the call. Just three seconds left on the penalty to Paul Moran. So momentarily four on four hockey and then we'll see an FDNY power play for a minute and 57. A great opportunity by Zay there. He walked in all alone on a breakaway and then got his own rebound and came back for it. And uh, Matt's a sniper. He normally doesn't, uh, I'm sure he's kicking himself now, but uh, very strong player. Matt Zay, good player, played at Mercyhurst, Division One NCAA, played a little bit of pro hockey as well. And he gets the puck now in the corner. FDNY power play has just started as Moran came out of the box. Zay rolls up top, moves it into the corner. Tracy has it. Back to Zay. Zay shoots. Save made there by Byrne. One more time. Zay down low for Tracy. Tracy off angle shot, turned into the corner. Tracy up top for Zay. Zay with some space, starts to walk it. Right flank, Tracy to Zay up top. Zay, toe drag, shot, that gets blocked. It's up in the air, still in the zone. One more time for Zay, cuts to the middle. Takes a shot and a save made by Byrne right in the bread basket. Karen Byrne standing tall here on the power play. Minute 15 to go here on the FDNY power play. 
8.55 remaining in the second period. Kieran Byrne, like Joe just mentioned, standing tall there in the paint. Faceoff's going to be to Kieran Burns right now. Fire department looking to Zay a little bit much there. Maybe move the puck a little bit more. Supposed to just him shooting. Yeah, Zay quarterbacking there. Comes up top now from Moran. Moran going D to D. To the pump bumper guy. Gargans one timer generates a rebound. Puck is still loose. Kick to the half boards. Diving effort. Wouldn't go out of the zone. Still unable to get it out. Gargan collects it. Walks to the middle. Left flank. Now up top for Moran. Moran walks, shot, that gets blocked. Off the boards in the corner. Pascali picks it up, rolls to the middle. Bumper guy Gargan, his shot goes off a stick and into the corner. Clearing attempt doesn't go. Moran holds it in with his skates. Saucer pass to Gargan. Gargan walks, shot gets blocked by Pews. That's Big Liam Pugh sacrificing the body there. Now he's in the corner battling for the puck with Gil Hooley. Gargan picks it up. Gargan starts to walk, plays it behind the net, finds Kern. Up top for Moran, and that one skips out of the zone. Guardians hustling to make a change. Ten seconds left on the power play, and the FDNY goes off sides on the stretch pass. Well, they had they had them on a change there, and uh, somebody went off sides from this angle. I really can't see, but seven seconds to go here on the FDNY power play. 7:47 remaining. Period number two. You're watching live on the LI Sports Network. Travis Quigley taking you through the call. Retired FDNY Joe Byrne here with us, and a chance on a breakaway forehand, backhand save made by Byrne. Kieran Byrne again on a Lopes breakaway. Tried to go five hole. Good speed by Vinny Lopes there. Creating some separation, getting himself wide and then hard right back to the middle to get that little breakaway. 7.39 to go here in the second period. Matt Zay back in the faceoff dot. He wins it. Skips over the stick of Moran, comes out of the zone. Nolan Pughes wins the battle. Two on one chance. Pughes' saucer pass goes off of Puppa's skate, who is diving across to the point. Salerno's shot kicked away there by Battaglia. Cycled in low. Beggy with Salerno. Salerno battling for it, comes away. Backhand pass out front, back door blocker saved by Battaglia. Centering pass from Hank wouldn't go. Held in the zone by Dylan Raiden. Hank spins and fires, turned away one more time. Puppa gets his stick lifted and Dylan Raiden collects it. Pass across is picked off. And the FDNY now will skate it out of the zone. It's Brendan Tracy. Over for Lopes. Drop pass for Zay. Zay's shot is gloved by Byrne and we'll get another whistle and a face off to his left. Yeah, not, not, not much action down here in the fire department zone, but Taglia stood up there. A couple of quality chances there by Nolan Pughes. I think Nolan Pughes has been the best player on the ice so far for the Guardians. As we go to the left here, Kieran Byrne, Dylan Radin set for the draw for the Guardians. Matt Gervasi for the FDNY Bravest, and Raiden was the one who won it. Rimmed around the wall, it's kept in the zone, and a slap shot from the point gets blocked and goes out of play. Game puck for a spectator. The great thing at the in between the periods there for the Long Beach Lightning, I think 16U team or Long Beach High School team out there scooping up all the chucker pucks. Yep. I yep. knew half the kids there. They, like we said, the Hagen family has everybody working today. Yeah, like we said, community day, community event. Garen was a massive part of this community, touched many lives in this community. And it's only right that the whole community comes together today. Absolutely. As we got a whistle there. Looked like the door at center ice came ajar, opened up. A lot of spectators here in the arena for this one. FDNY, Long Beach Guardians 1-1. It's been a tight game. Great goaltending on both sides. And I think this one's going to come right down to the wire here. 
played forward. Now a chance for the fire department. Couldn't maintain possession. Jumps over the stick of Dylan Radin of the Guardians. Chipped in, now going to get it is Ronan Judge. Radin can't hold it in. Tries to make a one-on-one -on -one move at the blue line. Guardians tag up so he can be sent back into the zone now. Ronan Judge still on the forecheck. Puck goes ahead. Bouncing puck here last couple of minutes. Raiden on the stick lift. FDNY get it right back. James Shea to the point. Walking. Shot gets blocked. Goes off the glass. Dylan Raiden going D to D. Played off the boards. Comes out of the zone. Won't have enough juice to be in icing. So Zielman comes back to pick it up. Evaluating his options. Just puts it off the glass and out. It's in the skates right now of Liam Pews. Bouncing puck collected there by Michael Van Pelt. He plays it forward. Kelly out wide. Brian Elfont trying to tuck the shoulder, protect the puck. Still on the half wall. Hank Levin chips it out of the zone. Raiden going off for a change as he was going to chase that one down. Played across D to D from Jim Becker. Turned over. Chance for the Guardians. Deflected in front and covering it is Nick Battaglia. Good chance there on the turnover for the Guardians, Joe. Yeah, you see him. You're not, you didn't get an ice cut after the first period, and now as you get down to the, at the end of the period here, the ice is not good, and uh, pucks are going to be bouncing all over the place right now. Elfont wins the faceoff back. Van Pelt takes it around his net. Moved it over to Becker. Cross-ice pass looking for Gil Hooley. Was broken up by Liam Pughes. Conway walks in. Takes a shot off a stick and over the cage. It comes out now and Brian Elfont on the rush. One-on-one. -on -one. Liam Pughes defending. Tries to go through the triangle. Ends up in the corner. Elfont still with possession to the point. Van Pelt. Shot. Save is made by Kieran Byrne. 4.17 to go in the second period. Score is 1-1. A good rush by Brian Alfont there. Tried to go one-on-one -on, -one on Liam Pugh's, the big body, but he got around him and got the puck to the point for their quality opportunity for the fire department. It's tough when you're barreling down one-on-one -on -one with oh. a defenseman with as long a reach as Liam Pugh's. Yeah. A lot of size there. Brian Alphonse 5'8". I think Liam's 6'4". That was a little tough yeah. matchup there. I think Liam might even be bigger than 6'4". Yeah. He's, a, he's a big okay. guy. Yes. As the puck comes out of the zone now, Glenn Puppa goes D to D for Moran. It gets chipped in there. Jack Annan, Matt Zay battling now behind the goal line. Lopes goes and joins. Declan Conway in there as well. Now the Guardians looking to clear. It gets out of the zone. Two on two rush here. Walking in. Shot gets blocked by Papa. Comes out of the zone. An odd man rush now for the FDNY. Lopes carrying ahead. Two on one. Backdoor pass. Jumps over the stick of Brendan Tracy. High flip out of the zone is gloved by Papa. He gets it back from Moran, tries to touch it ahead, but fanned on that one. He gloves it down one more time. He's able to stretch the ice, hits the tape of Tracy cleanly there. Tracy takes a shot, gloved by Byrne, and we get another whistle with 3.02 to go in the middle frame. I'll tell you, we couldn't ask for a better game right now. 1-1. One, one. Packed house. I look around here, and you can't get another body in here. Looking around the glass, they're five deep behind the net, all over the place here. What a what a turnout for for GCUH Day. Excellent turnout here. Shows again. We've mentioned it, how tight the community here is in Long Beach. As a chance for the FDNY, couldn't get it off in the slot. Looked like that was Billy Pascali. It's kicked wide. Now entering the zone, fanning on the shot there was Coyle. Coyle gets it back. He's battling for it. Cycles it in deep. Chipped ahead. Trying to get this puck out is the FDNY. Nolan Pugh's on the back check. Wins it back. Gargan's in there now as the puck is down beneath the goal line of the Guardians. Salerno up to the half boards. Out of the zone with Coyle. Frizz alone spins and Sends it to the far blue. 
East-West pass wouldn't find tape there, so it's a battle in the right-hand corner. Off the glass, glove down by Larry Nyland. He chips it off the wall. It's going to be a foot race. Nolan Pughes hustling for it. Couldn't get there. And we got a whistle. Uh, not a whistle yet, but arm up. A penalty coming. Going against the FDNY behind the play. And it looks like it's Frizz alone who's going to the box. And now we got a little bit of extra stuff going on here as both teams are coming together on the half boards. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what the calls end up being on each side. It was just going to be one going the FDNY way. We'll see what happens here as Pews and Frizz alone getting into it now. Some more conversing happening here. Just a minute 54 left in the second period. The initial call was going against Frizz alone. It was going to be a power play going for the Guardians. We'll see what the calls end up being after this all shakes out. Referees having a conversation now. We'll speak to the captains of each respective team. And Joe, what do you make of that? Ah, I'm not sure. I didn't see what happened, but... Um it was a delayed penalty on the fire department, and Frizz alone just reached up and he just grabbed one of the other guys, and all the Long Beach guys stood up for their guys and came in. I don't blame them. And yeah, we'll, we'll see how this all shakes out. We see Joey Diamond, captain of this Guardians team, having a conversation with the officials, and see Captain Jim Becker in there as well. We'll see what comes of this. Like, like Joe mentioned, the initial penalty was going against Frizz alone of the fire department. It was going to be two minutes going against the FDNY. Not sure what extras are coming from that little scuffle we just saw. Joe and I have mentioned it a couple times throughout the broadcast. Physical game here. It's gotten a little bit more physical as the time has ticked on. FDNY getting ready for their big matchup with the NYPD on April 20th over at UBS Arena. It's the 50th annual game between the FDNY and NYPD, and that's always a special game for not just people in this area to attend, but people travel in from all over to see that game. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge event now. Yeah, it's, uh, I've been around this team for 25 years, and people call me for tickets all over the place, and I can't help them out. It's right? just a tough ticket. And, and if uh, anybody can help them out with the tickets, you'd think it would be you, right, yeah, Joe? Yeah, unbelievable. That's what people say, but, I don't know, they forget about you sometimes. Yeah. You know? No, I, I can't say that. They, they take very good care of me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And but, you know, with this crowd here and Long Beach has a lot of pride in the hockey. It's a hockey town. You know, this is their big game, whereas, you know, the fire department's coming up. But, you know, they don't – fire department has a lot of pride in their team too. They, they're a very successful organization. So this is a uh, – Right now, it, that, that game, 420 doesn't come into play here. They want to win this game here. Yeah, they're not even thinking about that. It's in the back of their mind, but it's not something they're actively thinking about. They want to win this one. As the pass for Zay back door is out of his reach. Arm up, and we got a penalty coming against the Guardians now. Looks like it's going to be Jack Gannon who's going to the penalty box here. I want to say Hooking's going to be the call going against Gannon. It was four-on-four four hockey. Now it's going to be a four-on-three power play chance here for the FDNY. Yeah, a lot of open ice right now, and uh, they're going to use Zay and uh, Lopes, I believe, out there. So we got Matt Zay. We got Lopes. We have Billy Pascali. Pascal. And we got the newcomer, Glenn Puppa out yeah. there on the point, the yeah, right pa shot defenseman. Pascali's a new player, too. So I'm, I'm told that he's an inline player, Team USA inline player. 
And we'll see how they set up on this four on three power play. A lot of ice. Pump a one timer, and that one goes just wide. Byrne might have gotten the glove on it. Papa picks up the drop pass from Zay. Doesn't like what he sees, so circles back up to the point. Right flank for Zay. Back to Papa. Papa back door on the backhand now. Save made. Shot wouldn't go through there for Pascal. A lot of space to walk through. Papa across for Zay. Zay one timer gets blocked. Rebound is loose and Byrne dives on top of it. Takes the whistle with a minute seven to go in the second period. Karen Byrne has been exceptional tonight. You know, the, you know, the, the play's basically been in the Guardian zone most of the night, and uh, he's been standing up tall tonight. Former Long Beach High School uh, all-county goalie. And he has the same last name as me, too, but I, I, don't, I, I never really met the kid, but uh, I like his name anyway. No relation. Good name, though. Yeah. Looks like we're just getting the net taken care of there. Looks like it might have came off. Officials just fixing that one up. Still a four on three power play for the FDNY. That'll go for the rest of this period, barring a goal. It's at the point with Moran. Moran taking his time. Right side for Gargan, over for Kern. Kern starts to walk, goes through the seam to Gargan. Back up top, Moran for Kern. One more time through the seam. Couldn't hit Gargan on the forehand, just collects, takes his time with it. Kern, right side, down low to the goal line. Puck, puck popped off the stick of Gilhooly in front. We got Gargan, Gilhooly, Kern, and Moran out there for the FDNY on this power play. Kearns pass to Moran, skips over his stick off the boards and comes out of the zone. Offsides is the call with 25.9 remaining in period number two. Still 1-1 the score here between the FDNY and the Long Beach Guardians. Joe Gilhooly late in the first period. Late in the first period was Gilhooly. And then early in this second period, it was Luke Judge for the Guardians tying things up. Only scoring we've seen so far in this contest. 25.9 left on the clock in this period. 32 seconds left in those coincidental penalties. That Matt Zay has the puck after the FDNY win the faceoff. He curls up on the half wall. Walks to the middle, pass over for Puppa. He fakes the one-timer, takes a shot. That one got through and steered away. 10 seconds left. Zay takes a peek at the clock, rolls to the middle. Seven seconds. Puppa walks, takes a shot, deflected, goes just wide, and that's going to do it for the second period here in Long Beach. Score is one to one. FDNY opened it up in the first. The Guardians, huge response here early on in the second period, Joe. Luke yeah. Judge finding the back of the net. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't ask for much more here tonight on uh, G2H Day. So 1-1 one, one going into the third. Uh, should be an exciting uh, finish to this game. Should be a great finish as both teams head to their respective locker rooms. We're going to get ready for ice cut. I'm going to name our raffle winners. we got a t-shirt cannon here in Long Beach. We're going to take a break ourselves as we get set for period number three between the FDNY and the Long Beach Guardians, like Joe said, on G2H Foundation Day here in Long Beach, celebrating and remembering the life of Garen Hagen. Travis Quigley, Joe Byrne, retired FDNY here on color for us this evening. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be back with period number three. Before we go, we just want to pan over and show you the excellent turnout that we've had here in this for this day. Look at the crowd now. Look at all the people here supporting the G2H Foundation, supporting Garen Hagen and the Hagen family. And Joe, this is this is what it's all about right here. Yeah, I'm so proud to be uh, you know a Long Beach resident and to turn out today uh, what we've done for Garen and uh, we miss him and it's just a testament to his uh, popularity and his legacy. 
Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. We're going to take a break here on the LI Sports Network. About 15 minutes to go before we're back for period number three. Don't go anywhere. Don't miss a second of the action. Travis Quigley, Joe Byrne taking you through the call here. The mission of the Long Island Warriors hockey program is to provide the sport of hockey to veterans and especially returning service members to have that sense of camaraderie, physical fitness and organization again, as well as giving back to the community. What we've learned is through the VA studies and other national studies is that physical exercise and camaraderie and bringing the team together really helps with that transition. As you look at a lot of these individuals who are coming out of the service, the transition is the hardest part. So the program was started in 2020 by Robert Schrembry. It's been a nationwide program through USA Hockey and was missing in the Long Island community. Currently, the Warriors has uh, close to 90 members and we currently have three teams and three different tiers. The greatest compliment I ever heard has actually been from people outside of the Warriors, whether it's uh, an opposing team that said, oh, you guys have been playing together for years and some of us have only met months ago and family members have said that, you know, their husbands or loved ones are healthier, they're happier, they're sleeping better, and it's clear that it's working. It's fantastic, it's a, it's a whole support system. It's not just hockey, hockey's the medium that we, we play in, but, you know, I've spent countless hours on the phone talking with guys, some of them were pretty distraught, and, uh, you know, th this is what keeps us together, keeps some of them alive. It's very supportive, you know, no matter what your level is. They were very supportive of me, very helpful, and lifted up my spirits, you know, really got me into hockey. These heroes, these athletes, these warriors, you know, they're, they're normal people, just like everybody else. They've dealt with a lot, you know, and to have this as their escape, to have this as their freedom from a world that, um, you know, sometimes may distract them negatively. It means so much to me to be a part of it for them. You all enlisted 10, 20, 30 years ago to put your lives on the line to fight for your brothers, your sisters, your family, most importantly, this great nation. Embrace this moment. Okay. I want to see all of you fight for the pucks in the corners. I want to see you all fight for the puck in front of the net. I want to see you all fight for every shift of every period without backing down. Do not let up. Not now, not tomorrow, never. Now one thing, let's go out there and let's show everybody who the Warriors are. The Long Island Warriors Summer Shootout is just an annual tournament that we have uh, every August. It's with the support of the New York Islanders, we try to bring in veterans teams, specifically Warriors teams from all over the country. It's actually our first ever international tournament. We got the team from Denmark to come over. 
Then we also, you know, bring in some local teams, first responder teams. We have a competitive tournament with uh, different skill levels and divisions. The mutual bonding event uh, for first responders, veterans. It's a place where we can get together, where you're, uh, you're part of a group, even though you're not on the same team. You still have a like mindset, and that's just a huge brotherhood out here, and that's what draws us. It's very good for those of us with the mental health issues. It's uh, profound. It's very meaningful to me. I have severe PTSD, so this is extremely meaningful to me. It's very important. It means that we, yeah, we are all, all veterans. Some have some issues, small, big ones. And it means a lot to be invited to such a tournament and to come over and just play some ice hockey. It's been exciting to see kind of how evenly matched everyone is and how like everyone takes it very serious and very competitive, but still having a great time together and smiling regardless of the outcome. Everyone's having fun. The Warriors have given me a sense of purpose and direction to what I'm passionate about, which is helping veterans and finding innovative ways to help veterans. Personally, I've met some of my best friends here. It really is uh, just a group of play hockey together, but really it's more than that. It's about our families, it's about our friends, it's about getting back together. That's what it means to me. I would say if there was one sentence to describe the Warriors, it would be veterans back on a mission. And that mission is to help each other and help the community. The mission of the Long Island Warriors hockey program is to provide the sport of hockey to veterans and especially returning service members to have that sense of camaraderie, physical fitness and organization again, as well as giving back to the community. What we've learned is through the VA studies and other national studies is that physical exercise and camaraderie and bringing the team together really helps with that transition. As you look at a lot of these individuals who are coming out of the service, the transition is the hardest part. So the program was started in 2020 by Robert Schrembry. It's been a nationwide program through USA Hockey and was missing in the Long Island community. Currently, the Warriors has uh, close to 90 members and we currently have three teams in three different tiers. The greatest compliment I ever heard has actually been from people outside of the Warriors, whether it's uh, an opposing team has said, oh, you guys have been playing together for years and some of us have only met months ago and family members have said that you know their husbands or loved ones are healthier, they're happier, they're sleeping better, and it's clear that it's working. It's fantastic, it's a, it's a whole support system. It's not just hockey, hockey's the medium that we, we play in, but you know, I've spent countless hours on the phone talking with guys, some of them were pretty distraught, and uh, you know, th this is what keeps us together, keeps some of them alive. It's very supportive, you know, no matter what your level is. They were very supportive of me, very helpful, and lifted up my spirits, you know, really got me into hockey. These heroes, these athletes, these warriors, you know, they're, they're normal people, just like everybody else. They've dealt with a lot, you know, and to have this as their escape, to have this as their freedom from a world that, um, you know, sometimes may distract them negatively. It means so much to me to be a part of it for them. You all enlisted 10, 20, 30 years ago to put your lives on the line to fight for your brothers, your sisters, your family, most importantly, this great nation. Embrace this moment. Okay. I want to see all of you fight for the pucks in the corners. I want to see you all fight for the puck in front of the net. I want to see you all fight for every shift of every period without backing down. Do not let up. Not now, not tomorrow, never. Not one thing. 
Let's go out there. Let's show everybody who the Warriors are. The Long Island Warriors Summer Shootout is just an annual tournament that we have uh, every August. It's with the support of the New York Islanders, we try to bring in veterans teams, specifically Warriors teams from all over the country. It's actually our first ever international tournament. We got the team from Denmark to come over. Then we also you know, bring in some local teams, first responder teams. We have a competitive tournament with uh, different skill levels and divisions. It's a mutual bonding event uh, for first responders, veterans. It's a place where we can get together, where you're, uh, you're part of a group, even though you're not on the same team. You still have a like mindset, and that's just a huge brotherhood out here, and that's what draws us. It's very good for those of us with the mental health issues. It's uh, profound. It's very meaningful to me. I have severe PTSD, so this is extremely meaningful to me. It's very important. It means that we, yeah, we are all, all veterans. Some have some issues, small, big ones. And it means a lot to be invited to such a tournament and to come over and just play some ice hockey. It's been exciting to see kind of how evenly matched everyone is and how like everyone takes it very serious and very competitive, but still having a great time together, smiling regardless of the outcome. Everyone's having fun. The Warriors have given me a sense of purpose and direction to what I'm passionate about, which is helping veterans and finding innovative ways to help veterans. Personally, I've met some of my best friends here. It really is uh, just a group of play hockey together, but really it's more than that. It's about our families, it's about our friends, it's about getting back together. That's what it means to me. I would say if there was one sentence to describe the Warriors, it would be veterans back on a mission. And that mission is to help each other and help the community. Ready, two. The mission of the Long Island Warriors hockey program is to provide the sport of hockey
hustle, too. These guys rubbing out on face-offs, they're playing the body in the corner. I'm like, just, yeah. I'm not yeah. ready for this. Some guy just <laughs> lock, lock it in. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's hockey, yeah. That's fucking nuts. All right. Go wide. Sports Network, 1-1 game, tight contest between the FDNY and the Long Beach Guardians, the hosts, game two of two here in Long Beach. First game, we saw the Nassau County Police Department. They took on the Toronto Fire Hockey Club. Toronto came out on top, 3-2 in that one. Close game here, FDNY on the board first. Joe Gilhooly in the first period on a one-timer. Put the firefighters up 1-0, and then early in the second, it was Luke Judge for the Guardians getting on the board. We had retired FDNY, Joe Byrne doing color commentary through the first and second period. My name's Travis Quigley. I'm taking you through play-by-play -play for this one, and we got a special guest on color for the third period here. Barstool's very own, the Rear Admiral R.A. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for being here. And just tell us, what, what does it mean to you to be here? How excited are you? You know, the pleasure's all mine, pal. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, why we're here is a, a, a sad reason, but just to see, like, the community response here, it's, it's been, oh, there we go, oh, fire, bang. We got a goal we right off the bat. Fire, wow, wow, off the jump, holy shnikes. Matt Zay, the former pro player, Mercyhurst alum, gets the FDNY on the board on the power play just 12 seconds into the period. What a hot start for the FDNY, all right. Yeah, I mean, the game's been unbelievable. You, you, you told me this the first time these two teams have played each other. I mean, the Guardians up until that goal have been defending their rink pretty, pretty damn well. They've been giving the, the Jakes a hell of a game. Uh, but, you know, a lot of time left, two to one. I wouldn't be surprised if they respond soon and tie this thing up. Uh, and just to go back to your first question before they Absolutely. drop the puck, yeah, it's, you know, we, we obviously do the FDNY NYPD game in a couple weeks. So, you know, we have a, a good connection with these guys. So, uh, they, you know, they wanted young know, Basel to come down for this. And I followed, sent me down. I flew down today. And, and, and like I said, it's been an honor to come down. The people have been awesome. Uh, just the generosity and just like the, the community spirit to come out for, you know, what, what a sad event it has led to, but it, it's 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 been over, uh, just an awesome day. It's the people have been so nice and glad it came down. Yeah, really tight knit community down here in Long Beach, and mm -hmm. you look around the crowd. It's a packed barn here. Yeah, everybody in the community turning out here for G2H Memorial Hockey Day. Garen Hagen, although young, it was a profound member of this community. Really touched the lives of a lot of people. Long Beach hockey player, Long Beach lacrosse player, and like you said, tragedy would happen, but we're here celebrating and remem remembering the life of Garen Hagen as the Guardians trying to get back on the scoreboard here, looking to tie things up. Shot goes through, comes ooh, off ooh. the back, pick play, did I, and did they I, score! Did I, call that? Did, I, did I not call that? R.A., you're I mean, on the money! I know. They've been playing top all game, man. They weren't going to fall. We got a ball game once again. The shot came through from the point. It looked like it came off the Zamboni door. And putting that one home, Robbie Beggy of the Guardians. It's 2-2 here in Long Beach. I love the, the tribute that the Guardians had for Garen. All of them wearing number two, which was his number. That's just you know, a beautiful gesture that they, that they did here today. Absolutely. Like R.A. said, if you probably noticed it at home, every member of this Long Beach Guardians team wearing the number two. They all have the C on their jersey to remember Garen Hagen. And what a game we have here in this one. 2-2 the score. FDNY trying to get right back in on the attack. Gargan cycles it for Gilhooly out front. Nothing doing there. It's held in the zone by Frizz alone. Dylan Raiden pushes it wide. Guardians enter. Across for Raiden. Loses the handle. Gargan comes back to pick it up. Ooh. And we got a penalty oh, coming oh. here. Oh, I did. Did, did you see it? I, I, didn't, I didn't see the penalty. Did you catch it? Yeah, it looks like holding was the oh. call. I believe it's going against the fire department. Oh. And a big chance here now for the Guardians going on the power play. 
15-26 left in the third period. Chance for the Guardians now to get their first lead of the day. I'll tell you, those fire uniforms, no pun intended, they are fire. They're oh. unbelievable looking. Sharp oh, looking. Yeah. They're kind of menacing in, yeah. in a way. But, they're sharp. But they better, well, they're shorthanded. Uh, penalty killing better get on their, on the heels right now because the Guardians, this team's been strong all game. I think, uh, I don't know if the Jakes are surprised how good they've been because they never played each other before. But like you said, they're defending their home bond and they're doing a hell of a job of it right now. And they, they're able to win the faceoff shorthanded. Look to try to clear it. They send it 200 feet. Not a problem there for Clifford yep. Zielman. Guardian's going to try to break back out Oop. now and set things up. FDNY just doing a good job here on this penalty kill. They send it right back in deep. Byrne comes out and leaves it for Liam Pugh, who cycles it over for Salerno. Salerno sauces one ahead and nothing doing so far for this Guardians team. A lot of ex-professional and college players on this Guardians side as the puck goes out of play. A lot, a lot of, of guys that grew up playing in this race. I'd say a lot of guys have played the high school team I understand. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, a huge, that's it, a huge tr uh, traditional hockey here. And obviously, the firefighters, the, the Irish folks on the water. I almost felt like I'm back, back in oh, Boston. Yeah. It's almost like I had to leave. Except when, when we talk. Then the accents, it's like, okay, I'm in New York. I'm not in Boston anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> those Long Island guys yeah. have a much different accent. Give me a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> a glass of water. Yeah. Well, Philly water. Yeah. <laughs> Guardians setting up. Ronan Judge's shot goes off the glass. Jack Gannon pinches in keeps it alive, cycles it in down low. As we hear the crowd starting to get loud here for Long Beach. What's up, my man? A lot of people in the building, everybody shaking hands with RA. Uh, it's, it's it's great. It's uh, the, the listeners are they're the best man. It's it's always great to come out and, and you know shoot shoot the breeze with with the people who listen to the show and you know it, people share some things with you. you just you know we, we're goofballs. We talk about hockey in a goofy way and it, we it sometimes affect people more than we know. And when they tell us that, it's 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 very moving and it's like all right, we, we realize we're unintentionally doing maybe a little bit more. So it's yeah. it's always nice when people open up and yeah. share. Maybe there's like a little that. bit more purpose to what I'm doing than I originally right, right. expected. Exactly. Even if it wasn't on a to do list, it, it, it sort of ended yeah. up there. So. So, yeah, it's, it's always nice when people come up and, and share stories. Just 15 seconds left on this Guardians power play. They, they, I don't think they have a shot yet, do they, on I this? Don't think so. They've had a tough time setting things up. You said it, stingy penalty kill from mm -hmm. this FDNY side. You've seen them play a couple of times. Yep, see them uh, two more weeks, right, right up the road a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, right over at UBS. Yep. One time, and that one goes wide. 50th annual FDNY NYPD game. And Matt Zay ooh, now leading ooh, the rush. Opportunity. Ooh, shot. Save. Oh shit! Right past oh, save. Right? Ooh. Zay went oh, he, down. He's, he's doing all right. right. Oh, nice move. Pascali trying to cut to the front. Nothing doing there. To the point for Frizz alone. Down low. Tracy sauces one across. Back ooh. to the pass. Oh. One timer and they oh. score. Who's that singing that nasty song? What a pass that was. Holy shnikes. A little tic-tac-toe oh, right there. That was beautiful. Right there. That was good stuff. Huge response from fire right there. After, yeah. after the huge penalty kill, then go back up 3-2. They needed that one. Looked like it was Joe Sanger, Lieutenant Joe Sanger, Engine Company 280. The assistant captain on this team putting the one-timer home and gives the FDNY the 3-2 lead. Yeah, beautiful play right there. Goldson had no chance on that. Can't fault him at all. Great passing from the FDNY. You could tell they've been they've been playing games together. They've been oh, yeah. practicing and they snap the yeah. puck around real well. A little, little chippy at times as well too, which, is no, which is no surprise for a bunch of Irish fighters who like to have a pop once in a while. No, not at all. <laughs> Especially like you said, these Guardians, these, these Long Beach guys. They're, 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 this is far from over. These guys, you know, they, they're, they're certainly not going to quit. We got a long, what, 12, 12 minutes to go. Far from over. Yeah, a lot of hockey left to be played here. Both you, sides bringing their best effort. You are a Rangers fan, Islanders fan. What's that? Who's your uh, loyalty? I'm an Islanders guy, so okay. you know it, it's yeah. a little tough sometimes here in busy. Give Butchie uh, the uh, the business, uh, but I think Butchie hilarious. holds his own. He gives it right back. Yeah, he does a he, good job. And, and we got like hits. He's not playing around. But people thought he was, you know, you know. Dude, no, boomers there, don't. No jokes. Boomers <laughs> are serious on the internet. They don't. They don't joke yeah. around. So it would be hilarious if he squared off. But yeah. we would love <laughs> to get him on the show. Rowdy, huh? oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hey, uh, last, team, uh, last team to win four in a row. I don't know if I'll ever see that again. Yeah. Oh, slap shot there goes over the net. Brian O'Sullivan clears it out. Gets knocked down by Nolan Pugh. He's carrying it in. And FDNY forced the turnover. They got some time and space now moving it forward. Steven Romano chipped in there by Brian Elfont. 
Jack Gannon gets the red, fires it in, takes a hop off the Zamboni door. Could have been a chance there in front for Hank Levin of the Guardians. I drive a Zamboni once in a while. <laughs> I, I, I was on a Zamboni once in my youth. I got to ride it at the uh, Ranger game, actually. Don't Did know you? how that got coordinated, but absolutely a fun childhood memory. What, during periods, like the whole crowd there and shit? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good time. FCC's going fi to uh, find me. Oh, we got another penalty coming up. Yeah, I think it was a high oh, stick yeah. there. On the, on the Guardians, not, not good timing for that. Pass out front oh. and... Picked off, we get the whistle, slashing the call. Like you said, R.A., not good timing here for the Guardians to take a penalty. 11.32 to go, so still a lot of hockey left, but you don't want to give this FDNY no. power play a chance to set things up because they're lethal. You don't do that, you go to the box, you feel shame. Only stupid English pig do that. <laughs> well, that's a slap shot reference for the uh, people. Listen, I was like, yeah, uh, going to get canceled over here yeah. for making a movie quote. But I, I knew you, where you were going. With it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, the the I hear, junior hockey bus trips, that's I, a classic. When I hear like young hockey players haven't seen slap shot, it's a, it hurts my soul. That's a, it that's hurts a my soul. It's a, you know, it's, a, it's a tradition, you know? Yeah, I mean, I was probably seeing slap shot before I should have been seeing yeah, slap shot. Yeah, exactly. Seeing, you know, what's her face is banana boobs uh, in the, you know, when you're eight years old or whatever. Hey. That one and Youngblood was probably another one I saw oh, when I was too young. Racky. Uh, tea time. At what's her, what's yeah. her face? Miss McGill. Oh, there you go. As Matt Zay carries back in on the FDNY power play, takes a shot off a body, skirts into the corner. Papa up top, moves it over. He gets it right back. Left flank now for Lopes to the middle. Papa fakes the shot over for Zay. Zay trying to go back door for Lopes, wouldn't go. Glenn Puppa now to Zay. Zay deflects it into the corner for Tracy. Back for Zay. Ronan Judge playing the body on him. And Nolan Pughes firing that one 200 feet. Wholesale change there for the Guardians. Couple of FDNY Bravis headed to the bench. Get some fresh legs out there. Zay leading the breakout. Tries to hit the tape of Billy Pascali. And now it's the FDNY who are having a little bit of trouble setting their power play up. It's chipped forward by Zay. Now Pascali carrying it in. Cuts, drops it off for Gilhooly. Gilhooly to Pascali. Walks in. Gilhooly one time. Oh, what a save by Byrne. Huge save. He dropped the stick and just got the blocker over. What a save by Byrne. Now a battle on the half boards, comes out of the zone, just 25 seconds remaining on the penalty against the Guardians. Byrne, he's kept on the game this goalie, he's had a- Yeah, he's done a great job. Saves. Byrne and Pataglia on the other end for the FDNY, he's been solid in this one. Gotta rep, gotta rep my fellow goalie union boys. <laughs> Goalies always stick uh, together. Uh, yeah, they always yeah. do, no matter what. NHL, AHL, street hockey, whatever. You know. Doesn't matter. More fraternity. <laughs> you all got a little bit of that craziness oh, to you, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Definitely get that. Weirdos. Goalies are weirdos. <laughs> a little bit. Gilhooly with a high saucer pass over. Ooh, ooh. Finds Kelly. Oh, he's Center right pass back door. Oh, one timer, and he yeah. broke his stick. Oh, I did. I did. I did. Gilhooly got a piece of Ooh, there's another one. Out to the slot. Diving out and blocking that one. Larry Nyland sacrificing the body here. Well, you get some good opportunities here. The Guardians got to clean up in their own zone a little bit. Yeah, it was a great chance for Kern on that back door. Yeah. You were pointing it out. Yeah, a couple of you know wide open chances there. And he just broke the oh, stick, oh, and now a little oh, extra stuff oh, in front. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> the fans are standing up to him. The peanut vendors are standing up to him. Uh, I gotta watch that when I go home. I would be surprised. Actually, it's too close of a game, I think, to get a scrap. I mean, if it was a blowout, then you're probably more likely to see one, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think in the back of these guys' minds, they're remembering that, you know, we're here for a charitable game and True, the but, G2H Foundation. But I also but, think when you're on the ice, you forget those things because the tensions boil over and you're, you're in the heat player, of the moment. And, you're a hockey player. And as Biz says, the Y is cross every exactly. once in a while. And, you know, that's, that's, why, it's, that's why it makes it hockey, you know, but... Hey, you know, no one fight now, nowadays. You don't fight unless you, you know, if you don't want to fight, you don't have to. Really no, I know I people mean, been whining about it, but it's like I mean, the backlash you know, that yeah. we saw last week after uh, the the Devils the, Rangers, yeah. and it's like, and then you know, everyone's like, oh, it's like uh, what's her name, 
Colin Lovejoy in The Simpsons. Ooh, what about the children? And meanwhile, he's like on his Instagram, like showing his bloody yeah. knuckles and like saying how great it was. It's like these guys know the risk, man. It, it, that's yeah. the job. It's the, the union. They got the workplace roles, and you know, it's like they're fine with it. So everyone else, I mean, you can complain about it, but nobody has to fight anymore. And, and it, I think it's 98 percent of the players want it, and I don't think that's ever going to dip below 60 percent. It's just it's like a, in the case of emergency break glass type of thing. I mean, sometimes a guy just needs to be punched in the face. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's hockey's one of those sports where it's so fast and so physical mm-hmm. that yeah. sometimes the, the players just, they they, just they stand, you have to yeah. stand up for yourself. Yeah. You have to, you don't want to use the word police yourself a little bit, but you have to sometimes, yeah. and, you know? And, 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 you know, like Biz talks about it, obviously he did that for a living. It's like, it, it brings, a, I think, a little bit of the integrity back to the game because, you know, when guys are cheap shot and your teammates and, and, you know, the instigator rule, and then even the other night they threw eight of those players out because they yeah. had a secondary fights. So it was like, well, you know, what the what, come on, it was just crap that they did that. But you know, the, the players like I, I, don't, I don't think as many fans like it as they used to be. But again, it's it's a it's a workplace thing. It's a union yeah. you know thing. And if they want it, then not, then they're gonna have it. You, you know? know, and it's it's hard for a fan to say what a player should and shouldn't do yeah, if, they, yeah, if, they, yeah, if yeah. they're signing up for yeah, it. You exactly. know, yeah, it's like you, you don't tell you oh you don't tell you telephone work. It's like hey, you know how to work. You know, yeah. let, let, let them fight. Do what, they, do what they want. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We got another penalty coming oh, up here. Jesus. As the refs, they're not afraid to put the arm up and blow the whistle in this one. We had some four-on-four hockey. It looks like it's going to be a four-on-three power play now. And it looks like it's going to be in favor of the FDNY. A four-on-three action? Feels like an OT in the NHL there. If our team gets a power play. Oh, ben, I was actually at the AAU College Hockey Nationals a couple weeks ago. Oh, no shit. Sh- and no, during, no. <laughs> during the round robin play, they were doing three-on-three overtime for 20 minutes. It was no, interesting. Really? Yeah, it was actually a lot of fun. A lot of fun to watch. It, did any of them go through the, the whole 20 minutes? That, that, where they went, had to go, would, One of them got after? close. Made it, made it to the goal. winning goal came with about a minute and 20 seconds and change that, or so. That's a long time. Long three time playing three-on-three. Three. Wow. Three. We get four on three here, as we mentioned. Matt Zay, the FDNY quarterback, is basically what you can liken him to. Yep, Always has another, the puck on his stick. Opportunity here. Ooh. Good shot. Papa yeah. can't keep it in. Zay, I know you guys had a lot of coverage on him last year when oh, you were yeah. but, getting ready covering the FDNY NYPD game. Great yeah. documentary. Yeah, two two weeks, man. I can't wait. It's just uh, such a special occasion. You get a pack behind eighteen thousand people to, yeah. to, to watch. The, you know, the Jakes go over with the cops, and I I can't wait, man. It's just such a great time, just a festive atmosphere. And you know, as a son of a, a retired Boston guy, anyone in a firefighter family is just a, an automatic connection. I think. Oh, there's another opportunity. Yeah, uh, for your whole life, man. You know, even down here, I don't know people here, but it's just that you know that that sense of you know everybody's uh, uh, related to someone who's a fireman or yep. in the family, and you know, there's always that just automatic connection with, with people who. Of, you know, firefighters in the family, so it's uh, it's been great. Everybody's been awesome down here. Yeah, and that's that's something that obviously you guys at Barstool you take great pride in is being able to take part in that FDNY NYPD yeah. game. Obviously, the 50th coming Whoa, up in yeah. two weeks, so really big one there, big milestone in that game. I believe this is the second one that you guys at Barstool yep. are going to be covering. Yeah. So, a lot of coverage there for those two squads. Yeah, it's obviously we, we appreciate everything that they do for us service wise and, you know, they provide entertainment for us for a couple of hours Absolutely, on a Saturday. Yeah. But what they do every single day is way more important uh, it's, than it's, that. It's, it's, and it, you know, I, every kid wants to do it. His father did growing up. I, I wanted to get on the fight department. I mean, Boston had, a, I guess you got a, a, a rigged game. <laughs> higher, what's up? But higher, I so yeah, and, and I took the test a bunch. And I, the, I did, it took... I st- took first test at 18. I was 35 the first time I called to do the physical test. I, I was done so at yeah. that point. I was yeah. like, ah, I tapped out halfway through. I was like, yeah. I'm going to pass out if I go through that thing right now. <laughs> That'll be more embarrassing than tapping out right now. Yeah. So, And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, things work out for the best. I, I mean, I wouldn't want me saving me in a fight. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather do what I do now. So, oh, yeah, life, life, you know, takes turns. And I'm glad I'm glad I'm here now. But for a long time, I was, you know, bummed out when you can't do what Dad did, you know. But Yeah, absolutely, because yeah. those are your first heroes, your parents, yeah, exactly. you know. Yeah. Parents exactly. and grandparents. Always. Yeah, yeah. The 70s in Boston, too, man. It was like the, probably the, ooh, I don't know, the smokiest era outside, like the American Revolution in Boston. Like, yeah. All the awesome and stuff going on. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Those guys, oh, back then, too, was a tougher game. The equipment wasn't the same. And, you know, those, they were making crap for those. So, true heroes. True Absolutely. heroes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fire department looking to get another on the board here. 
Nine seconds left in the coincidentals. Ooh. One timer from Gil Hooley. Ovechkin passed the zone over there. And Gil Hooley Ooh. played for the old New York Bobcats. A little bit of time in the USHL as well. I believe he uh, is he coaching the, the goals. Or is he, it was, uh, did I see that the other day? It was uh, a I, press release. I, he's, I know he's a named coach. Uh, I believe he might be with the goals yeah. this year. Uh, he was helping out with the Long Island University Division One team. As yeah. Burns steers that one away. Brooklyn guy, Joe Gilhooley. Yeah, I was fortunate to meet him over the summer. We uh, did the check presentation over in Brooklyn the past summer, and got, you know, got friendly with him. And he's uh, he gave me a good hotel recommendation. I, I had to hit him up for one. So yeah, yeah, nice to see him get a tuck earlier. Chance now for the Guardians in front. Puck is still loose, and it's Gil Hooley who sends it out of his own end. I feel, All like, right. I feel like Bob Uecker right now. Yeah. <laughs> Set the start Mill Miller. A little Major League. Oh, what a movie. Uh, Classic. Uh, uh, top two baseball movie, at least, right? Absolutely. I mean, if you say one, I'm not going to argue with you, you know? Oh, I, a little lull here. Guardians, I don't think they've had a shot for a while, huh? Yeah, it was their first one right there that Ooh. was turned away. Another one turned aside by Battaglia. Battle behind the net here. Sent all the way down. Going to be an icing going against the fire department. Any relation to uh, Bates Battaglia, uh, Carolina Hurricanes legend? Don't think so. Don't think so. Yeah, that's, not, a, not, a, not a name you hear every day, you that's know? That's a good uh, no. Pukdoku name, Bates Battaglia. Uh, yeah, we had him on the show a long time yeah. ago. He's quite a character. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite a character. Icing happened. Uh, the puck come down, bang, before the other guy, my arm go up, we stop and start up again. <laughs> Sorry. I've uh, <laughs> seen the movie seven zillion times. Can't help with the quotes. <laughs> Hi, Fishy. 5.38 to go. Travis Quigley and the rear admiral, R.A. from Barstool, taking you through the call. FDNY on top. 3-2 over the Guardians currently. Long Beach looking to get one back. I don't believe the Guardians uh, used that timeout yet. Do you think we're going to see them maybe utilize that with a down to goal getting late here? I, th I think as it gets a little bit later on, for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they'll try to draw, draw something up. Coach Joe Brand and Coach Dickie mm. Schimenti Gonna get something going. Oh. Oh, One-handed move didn't work there. Ronan Judge stepping up, takes the shot through a screen, turned aside by Battaglia. Comes back out of the zone, up in the air now. Mm -hmm. Gets gloved down by Ronan Judge. He chips it in deep. He's gonna stay in on the forecheck. Carrying it forward, Joe Sanger dumps it in. First to touch this one is going to be James Shea. Brian Elfont's in there working Ooh. with him. A couple nice guardians. Battle. There we go, nice battle there. Elfont gets the puck back. Ooh. Trying to spin oh. off Nyland. Some contact here, Luke there Judge. Go. Working his way in. Good puck battles right here, nice. Love to see it. Go whack it and hack and there you go, it's hockey. Now Dylan Raiden gets it out of the zone. He's carrying, leading the rush for the Guardians. Ooh. Opens up the hips. Little spin move. He takes two big hits. Still has the puck. Yeah, I expect a little energy burst from the right now, you know. The yeah. clock ticking away, down one. Good one-timer there. Rebound was free. Raiden goes D to D. Salerno Ooh. walks over. His shot gets blocked. Salerno gets it back. Tries to center it. Poked out by Battaglia. Shot, and they score! Did I call it again? Did I, did I call it again or did I call it again? Holy shnikes. You got ball the game. crystal ball back I started, here already? It's the one game I don't have money on it and call it like, you know, like I read the book on it. But wow, Luke just, Judge. Just under four minutes left. Tie game. We got, we got to throw a Manila out here. Nice stuff. Back to 3-3. Three, three, three. Tie game here. Luke Judge gets his second of the game. Three plus three equals seven. Shout out to the Iceman. <laughs> Are you familiar with uh, Iceman from uh, you know, Twitter, Elio? All he bets is hockey overs, and he came up with a wonderful phrase, three plus three equals seven, because most hockey overs is six and a half. So oh, yeah. once it's tied at three, you're guaranteed winner with no more ties, man. So do you, are you, are you a gambler at all? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Everything. A little bit oh, of everything. Really nice. Dabble a little of everything. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> A little of everything, you know. You gotta. Yeah. Okay. Baseball just started, so. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, it's probably the one sport I don't bet all that much. Just, I don't follow it as like I used. To. I used to be the biggest baseball nerd too. Oh, I'm sure. Right. Especially when the Sox. Two uh, thousands. I was yeah, wrong I, with the Boston I was Red Sox. Fortunate to be a uh, Yankee Stadium game seven, and then in St. Louis when they won it a week later. Oh four. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Special. 
See, he's a Yankees fan. Only got one championship. Uh, you're a Yankees fan? Yeah, All right, come quick. Take these headphones off. Not as miserable <laughs> as a Mets fan. Oh, dude. See, I, I'm still Scott from 86, man. That was the when the Mets beat the Sox. You ever, you ever see their highlights of that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Torture. Right? And that was in the middle of the curse. So, oh. I mean, I'm sure that was even, that, that's, even worse. That just hammered the home. Like, that team has crashed. That yeah. was like a slow motion draining. Like, yeah, people, people are celebrating. We're going to win this, like, the World Series. It was so bad. <laughs> the way it was just drip, drip, drip. And that's when. And, and night, the buzz is slow roll. The buck, the hits behind the bag. It's like that. You still hear that in your head, man. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then they, yeah, then they went on, on the heat of that. That's like the Toronto uh, Maple Leafs. They're sort of like the Red Sox pre-2004. Yeah. You know, the, the lovable well, – Maybe a lovable loser, but yeah. haven't done crap in forever. But and, you know, I'm a hockey guy. I, I, I watch a lot of hockey. I, I don't see much coming soon for Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bragging about the player. One series win what, since 04, I think. Yes. 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Settle down, Toronto. All right. A little under three. Tied at three. Are we getting OT here? Are we going to get a late hero? I, it's interesting. Things have kind of settled down. We were, we were kind of... Jawing back and forth there, but things kind of settled down while we were talking. Yeah. See if one of these sides gets momentum back their way. Gil Hooley trying to pick yeah. up the puck. I would be surprised if the fight has been getting guys open out here. I wouldn't be surprised if they get some opportunities real soon here. Yeah. Like you said, a lot of movement in the offensive zone here. Gil Hooley here go, with Joe. the puck trying to spin off. Taking a lot of pressure there from Ronan Judge. I love the, the puck battles along the wall, man. These guys just you know, going, going for it. It's great to see. Battling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Out front, a chance there. Ooh. Kern can't find it. It's oh. still loose in front. Salerno chips it out. Oh, now he's going to chase it. it. Oh. A little one-on-one oh, -on -one rush. Good. He takes a shot into the glove oh. of Battaglia. He takes the whistle there. 2.03 to go in the final frame. Great game. We had a thriller right now. Yeah. Now, what, now what, are the, what, what are the OT rules for this if it does go to OT? I'll be honest with you. I wasn't briefed on the overtime okay. rules. So <laughs> not sure if we're going to be getting overtime. We're going to go into a shootout, do some three-on-three. -three. We'll see what happens. Oh, no, Maybe it ends as a tie. I'd love to see some overtime. I don't want to see a tie here. No, no. no so this has yeah, been great yeah, hockey. Flip a coin before you have a free yeah. tie. Yeah. The, the, the crowd here deserves some overtime. Absolutely. Do 20 minutes, three on three. Let's bring it back. <laughs> I'm not sure these guys would want to be oh, out there for ooh, that ooh. long three on three. That much open ice. Cleared out of the zone. FDNY with possession in the neutral zone now. Glenn Puppa rims it around the glass. Still stuck on the boards here. Another battle ensuing in front of us. Guardians chip it out. Minute 30 to go in regulation. Paul Moran is back to go pick this up. Loses his edge, dishes it up the half boards. Over the stick of Matt Zay. Hughes plays it forward. Turnover. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Zay enters Big his own. Two here. on one. Oh, nice D. Nice D there. To the point for Puppa. He one touches it for Moran. Moran walks in. Shot oh, gets blocked. Oh, Rebound off the side Big of the save. net. Oh, Still oh. loose and burn. Oh, almost almost jammed it home. Up. Huge save once again. Burn, you said yeah. it earlier. He's been playing real solid here for the Guardians. So uh, where, where's the hot spot tonight, uh, Saturday, Saturday night in town? Where, where's, a, where's a fellow like me go to have, have, maybe cut the rug and have some you, you want to be on the west end of Long Beach. Nope, nope, and with a bunch of bunch of. Oh, yeah, there's a whole strip there. down okay. there. Well, anyone in particular, that, that's that's the place to be? For an old, for an old, for an old guy, for, for an old guy like me. <laughs> for you? I think you could pop into any establishment, uh, uh, and we can make it work. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Yep, I'll get my, my dress blues on a little bit. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to bounce around and seeing some of the, the nightlife around here. It's, uh, like I said, it's been a great day so far. I'm, I'm anticipating a great night as well. Guardians trying to clear it out. Ooh. High stick, delayed. FDNY touch it up, oh. and now Ooh. we're going to get a face-off down in the FDNY zone. Just 52 seconds left in this one. 3-3 three, three the score, third period. Watching live on the LI Sports Network, Travis Quigley, RA, Rear Admiral from Barstool here, taking you through the call. 3-3 three, three the score, FDNY, Long Beach Guardians. We're here in Long Beach celebrating and remembering the life of Garen Hagen, the G2H Foundation. Just 45 seconds remaining. I, I, yeah, G2H uh, Foundation.org if people want to go to the site and donate. Yes. Which 
They, they should. It's a wonderful cause. Puck comes around out of the zone. 30 seconds left on the clock. Nolan Pughes takes a look at it. Backhands it forward. Puck's hopping around a little bit. Gil Hooley curls in front of his bench. Gets it out of the zone. Picked back up. Uh -oh. Stretch pass finds Gargan. Gargan mm -hmm. walks in, curls up. Ooh. To the back post. Pascali shot. Oh, Nothing oh, in the it. post. Oh. Ten seconds. Moran one timer. Oh, Good save Ooh. by Burns. Play the whistle. Play the whistle there, but what, what I mean this Burns been Oh, we got a scrap. We got a goalie scrap. Oh. Is he gonna come down? Oh. oh we, got, we got fire goalie coming up to the red line, huh? Yeah, one goal he's at it, man. The other one's yeah. got to come down and, and, and square, you know, get a little order going. Only I mean, fair. I'll, I'll go with a goal. He's, oh, what? Is he playing the whistle? Wait, what's going on here? Uh, oh, oh. Shoot. I mean, I, have we seen this before? Shoot. Uh, no. shoot the puck in the net after the whistle. Holy crap. What's I up? Think, yeah, yeah. I think Burns took. I had 17 pockets, buddy. Kill Hooley stick. What? My phone? My phone? I, I, I got to open it for you, buddy. Oh, for charging. And now you hear the Long Beach did, crowd. Did you need the password? Or? I'm confused, but lock yourself up. I don't need to need to know basis. So yeah, what was going on there out front? Was he just you know being a little a little menace, a little pest and try Yeah, to... I think uh, I think the Tendy Burn didn't like that little little jab right as the whistle was going there. We saw them come out and kind of face each other, and I saw Burn take Ilhuli's stick and launch it up into the netting. Oh, and that's why we saw Gargan come over try to swipe away. Oh, uh, okay. The Tendy yeah. stick. You got to be careful too. You don't want to you know fire up the other squad too much or no. something like that. You know this in the game and uh, overtime potentially looming here. So we got penalties called on both sides. Zay gets the puck, oh, shoots and he oh scores! scores! Oh, wow. And he goes right over to the crowd oh. to celebrate. Matt Zay with the snipe wow. off the face-off win with 5.5 to go. Unbelievable. The open guy. Oh, oh. Oh, the attendee's not happy. Not happy not with ha that. He uh, looks like Ron Hextall right now. Holy... Oof. No, I mean, he doesn't know what he's mad right. about. I mean, because pretty fair goal. Oh, oh, Tendies. Oh, oh, Tendies. Here we go. Oh, 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 my God. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh my. Battaglia. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, we got a brawl. Oh, nice. oh, we got a couple of them going. Battaglia. This is like Rangers. Salon and Jose. It's a Donnybrook. It's a Donnybrook. Three on three. Oh, my God. Burn goes down. Oh, Salerno and oh. Zay chucking knucks to the red line. Wow. Four fights going wow. on right now. Looks like MSG the other night. Holy this crap. is identical to MSG the other night. Oh. Goalie scrap center ice. Uh, epic stuff, yeah. And oh. Burns leaking. Uh. Coming off the ice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's still, he too. Looks like a WWF from the 80s coming off the ice. WrestleMania is oh. later on tonight oh, in it is. Philly, guys. Oh, no, no kidding. Uh, are you a big eye wrestling guy? I'm into it now a little bit as yeah. I've gotten older. The Rock's back, so he's making it oh, fun yeah. again. He's been, oh, he's, he's been all over the place lately. Huh? Yeah. Saying whack it like, you know. Well, he's actually a better actor doing the wrestling stuff than, the, than his movies, oh. man. Holy The well, rumor is they're, they're going to Netflix next year, so the PG stuff's gone. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. I, that uh, might spice up the product a little bit. I uh, I, I love the back, you know, back of the Hulk Hogan era. No, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm an old bastard. I tapped out. Hulk, the Hulkamania era, I used to go to the boss of the guy all the time. And, We'd be, you know, back before everything was corporate. You could, if you knew the guy saw the puck line, you could hang on the garage after. We'd get to meet all the wrestlers and stuff. We got another one? We got slides. Somebody's throwing their, their flip-flops oh. onto the ice. It's like, it's, I know we get Octopus, Detroit, Catfish, and Nashville. Is this is this a tradition of, like, with the beach here that I'm not aware of? Like, I, I don't know. Huh. I, I, I've, I've been coming to this rink almost my whole life. I've never seen flip-flops end up on the ice. <laughs> Still getting all the equipment oh, picked yeah. up here. And, I mean, just... Huge opportunity for fire right there. They took advantage of it. They, like yeah. I said, they've been getting a lot of opportunities. Wide open shot there. And a defensive breakdown by the Guardians. And boom, fire looking good. Yeah, they had that ozone face off. Clean yeah. win. And you said it, Matt Zay, sniper. Oof. Finds the back of the net. Still trying to sort out what's going to happen after that Donnybrook. 
just five seconds left in this game. We saw a couple guys already get escorted off the ice. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I mean, you know, you don't want to see any more shenanigans like that with, you know, five and a half left. Yeah. Right? I mean, there's, there's no... Suspe I mean, there's just too, uh, what do you call it, like a friendly of soccer, I guess. So yeah. no, there's no league that can come down and, like, suspend anybody. Not that these guys give a crap. They, they like to fight and stuff, but... Yeah, the goalie, he, looked like he took one off the beat, man. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah he, for he sure. A bit there. Well, don't really matter. Five, you gotta, don't need him now. Five seconds yeah. left. He'll be pulling I mean, him anyways, you know. Take your pick. You got yeah. WrestleMania tonight. You got UFC 300 next week. Oh, I mean, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, these guys look like they're getting, they, they were prepared. They might have been watching some fight film. It's, it's wild. Huh? I mean, MMA, UFC, whatever. It took all, like, basically, it took over boxing more or less in this oh, country. Yeah. I mean, obviously, boxing went downhill a long time ago. And, you know, there's still some good fights out there. But, yeah, UFC is definitely way more popular than boxing right now, yeah. I'd say. It's really taken off in the last five, six yeah. years. Oh, Oh, we got a, is, that, is that the back? Is that him? Burn? Or, I can't read his name, but is that the... So we got Michael Hagan. Oh, okay. Garen's uncle. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Garen's, un Garen's uncle, uh, Michael Hagan now. Oh, okay. Hagen's uh, uncle. Oh. He's a rec league goalie. He's never really played, but now he's getting his five seconds. Mike Hagan, Lieutenant FDNY. He's the best. He's stepping in there. He's getting his time there. That, that's good. It's good. Obviously, unfortunately, the other guy took it off the feet, but it's nice to, to get him in the game. And he's, yeah, he's definitely good. Yeah. Mike Hagan in the net now for the Guardians. Puck goes down. Just ceremonial. Yeah. Three we seconds another, left. Nah, and boys are done. The boys, boys are done are with done. the scrap. And that was, that was wow. it. Uh, hell of we a had game. the main event at center ice oh, there. I mean, a I mean, goalie fight at center ice. Victory for the Jakes. Just a hell of a game. And hats off to the Guardians defending their home bottom. A couple, you know, late breakdowns that, that basically was the Achilles heel, but a hell of a game. Yeah, great game between these two sides. The FDNY come out on top. Four to three over the Long Beach Guardians. And before we sign off and yeah. let you go, R.A., just yeah. one more time, just want to have you just discuss what, what this means for you to be here supporting the G2H Foundation and what this day has been, what the community atmosphere has been like, and just your take on all of that. It's, it's been a wonderful day. And, again, you know, obviously, to reiterate, a sad circumstance why everybody's here, but the sense of, like, community and friendliness, everyone's been so so great coming up and, and talking and stuff. And like I mentioned before, I, you know, I, I've grown up in a firefighter household. I think there's just an automatic connection we anyway you go with, with fellow firefighter families and I certainly felt that today and obviously we got NYPD, FDNY coming up in two weeks we'll be doing for the second year in a row, the 50th anniversary game and uh, you know we have a, a bond with these guys and it was a no brainer for me when I was asked to come down and jump on a plane today came down and anything I get now that you know I, 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 I met uh, Hagen's dad and stuff, we, it's like I'll come down anytime, anytime I come down to help out it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's good to, to do, do things like that, sometimes you get caught in the rut and it's just a, a great day, I'm really happy I came and, and the place has been great Oh, it's not even nighttime yet, so God yeah. knows what's going to happen on Long Island tonight with my ass down here. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> thanks, sorry, I keep swearing. <laughs> oh, good. I want to thank Yo, you for jumping on the broadcast with Travis, us all thanks, right. for, thanks for having me, buddy. Absolute yeah, I had a blast. Pleasure. Yeah, I had a blast. A lot of fun. Great time. Yeah. Great having you here. A lot more to come. Let's do it next year. This evening. Hope to have you back here next year. Elkley Gogley. I want to thank you all at home for tuning in with us here on the LI Sports Network for both games, the NCPD and the Toronto Fire Hockey. Club Toronto won that one 3 2, and of course, the FDNY coming out on top over the Guardians 4 to 3. They're getting together at center ice now for the ceremonial picture. Again, thank you for tuning in with us here on the LI Sports Network. Travis Quigley for RA for retired FDNY vet Joe Byrne. Thank you again. Good. Good.